Good morning, cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off while hot on the trails of the sniveling rat Tartuccio. We followed him to the old sycamore, and I think we may be in for a major royal rumble with a whole army of kobolds. Hopefully not, though, because the couple that we fought before were actually kinda tough. I mean, they didn't do a lot of damage, but still. Um, let's see. Oh, whoa! This is a big map. Ah. Mmm, cowardly traitors! Sons of a pike, return the relic! Coward, turn, relic! Silly, silly kobold. Go look you, your relic in your dungeon. Look under bed, under table. Haha, <laughs> silly kobold have no bed and no table. Search your eggs. You lose relic and blame mites. Accuse queen. Because if you eat without a table, you get negative eight to your, uh, lies. Chief, uh, suit scale, not silly. A kobold leader shakes his weapon at the insult. Lies, chief, scale. Kobold crier diligently copies the world, words and gestures of the chief, swinging his weapon. It seems both groups are but a breath away from battle. So warlike, it's like a miniature version of the Talden Imperial Chronicles. Um, stop, what's going on here? Do we really need to intervene? I don't wish to suffer such creatures on my future lands. I actually have no problems with uh, kobolds. Goblins? Uh, a little ugly, but uh, kobolds are kind of cute. Alright, so I guess we can intervene. Stop what's going on here. The little mite uh, jumps in place. Stranger! Stranger! You see yes? Silly kobold attack mite! Insult us, our magnif magnificent queen! Mmm, lies! Mite thief! Steal a relic from kobold! Be revenge! Help us, stranger! Oh, interesting! So we can actually take a side! Kobolds, uh, tell me more about what happened. Mites, I want to ask you a few questions. Oh, they're not, uh, goblins. They're mites? Okay. You should make peace and search for the relic together. I would hear my companion's advice. I signed with them. Uh, let's find out what their story is. So, kobolds, tell me more about what happened. Mmm, I, chief! I name Sootskill. Kobold and Might live here long, live peace. But now my thief steal our relic. Thief, steal relic. Uh oh, I see. He's skipping the uh, the S uh, word, or rather, he's uh, skipping the uh, first letter. So he meant steal and relic. Gotcha. How do you know the relic was stolen by the mites? My Critzy, but Chief Sootskill more Critzy. I call new shaman come. Shaman Tartuk. Know who stole Relic? Tartuk. Oh, Tartuk might be Tartuccio. Tartuk. Oob, oob. Jethel rolls her eyes. And so again, to be the judge, to weigh and balance trivium, decade upon decade. What is this Relic? Relic key. Kobold take Relic, enter sacred hall. Did you really attack the mites? Revenge, might coward. Kobold come, might run. We come, take the Relic, go. Let they give back our relic. Uh, relic. We give back there. Um, and where's this shaman Tartuk now? Shaman was dungeon. Did not enter sacred hall. Or, uh... Might collapse our entrance. Kobold wrath might. Tartuk is not a real kobold. He deceived you. Soot scale not stupid. He no real kobold. The chief pull, pops up, puffs up to his chest, rejecting the insult. All right, well, it's clear to me now. Uh, mites, I want to ask you a few questions. A uh, small mite bows comically. I, Seneschal of Vagric, uh, here a magnificent warrior queen, blah. He points at his large companion, adorned with the height of a wolf. Queen defeats scary wolf battle. Vanquish hundred enemies, charm hundred hearts. Queen, blah, allowed you to speak her. May sit, we understand, he says generously. Legs tremble when see such beauty. Um, are you implying that I'm beautiful or that your queen is beautiful? All right, so my queen, why did you fight the kobolds? The my queen shakes her head sadly. We live here long, kobolds and mites. We live peace, a peace, friends trade. Together hunt good shaggy animal, got it, sweet. Long ago, kobold chief and our old king make good alliance. Two branch old sycamore we take, charm and give each other, give to other. This be relic. Kobold have one, might have one. Not long ago, kobold come. We yell, thief, take our relic. Silly kobold. Tricks are for kids. Why do you need the relic? Two relic, the key. 
Oh, they key gave entrance to Sacred Hall. There, under Old Sycamore, one key for Kobold, one key for Might. Each can go hall, all fair. And why do you... Why do the Kobolds think the relic was stolen by the Mites? The Kobold Chief, uh... Sorry. Kobold Chief, silly, ugly, old. Seneschal and other Mites uh, giggle at these words. He lose last mind. Listen, you sh uh, Shaman Tartuk. Shaman not so ugly. Badaz smacks her lips in approval. But angry, tricksy, say wicked might. I catch him and make crown from his scale. Pretty crown purple. Purple. Yep. Do you know where this purple scaled shaman is now? He proud dungeon near our house. We see he wants, but not catch. One fine shaman, look underground. All right, no more questions. Mm, can we actually... You know what, let's try to get advice from our companions. Uh, why support either? Do you think they'll ever listen to you? Let's, uh, let us battle these uh, little ones, both groups, and be done with it. It is up to you, but we should remember that living among such creatures could be dangerous. The kobolds and mites are aggressive, poorly organized, and unreliable. It's better to exile them or not interfere, lest we entangle our, uh, lest we're entangled in their unworthy deeds. All right, um, hmm. Let's suggest that we, that they make peace. We should make peace and search for the relic together. Never! The chief hisses in animal rage. Death to traitors! Uh, the queen might swings her blade. We no retreat. Choose who supports, stranger, or enemy us all. Okay. Um, can I decide to... Uh, all right, well, I guess we can't use the neutral uh, thing, which makes sense. Hmm. Do I have to pick a side? I'm going to go with the kobolds because they're cute and lizardy, whereas the mites look kind of disgusting with their gargantuan faces. I side with the kobolds and chief suit scale. You interfere in a war you have no stake in. I hope you know what you're doing. Chief suit scale hisses in triumph. Strangers now guest are my house. Friends. The mite leader snarls angrily. We not leave. Fighters. Hit stranger. Hit silly kobold. Okay, so I guess we're getting into a massive royal rumble with some uh, mites and uh, kobolds then. Fantastic. Alright guys, let's thrash these mites about. Look at their ugly faces. They're no better than goblins. Which are of course one step removed from uh, gnomes and whatnot. Wow! Look at this slaughter, holy shit! No skin left, I love it. Uh, we'll take this, thank you. And nothing else. Great. Lindsay? What are you doing in the back there? Can we skin these guys? I'm assuming we can't skin the mites. Alright, um, I don't know if I made a mistake by siding with the kobolds, what's but, what um, what's done is done. And this is all in the honor of, uh, Deacon, of course, my favorite kobold of all time. Actually, one of my favorite, um, characters. Oh my god. Okay, let's not tussle with the giant frog. I think maybe we stick with the devils that we know and go fight the mites. I may have made a mistake. Actually, no, it seems that they're... There are some kobolds here to uh, help us out. Now, let's see. Um, inspire a courage. So... That... How does that work exactly? Oh, there's a range. Interesting. I see. Okay. I was kind of wondering if that would be a... Whoa, what the fuck? Shit, what was that? I think that was one of those uh, channel living spells. Oh my god, what the hell is going on? Oh, it's the Mite Priest. I see. Okay. We're a little worse for wear. Do the Kobolds have like an inn or something? Some place we can rest, perhaps? Because, um... We're kind of on our way out here. Uh, how do I... Okay, ladies, you can stop talking for a sec because I need to uh, focus here. Alright, yeah, we might need to just, uh... Chow down on these um, potions, unfortunately, because we still don't have a healer. I do wonder if maybe I should have brought the uh, harem instead of um, Lindsay, but oh shoot, wait, did I just drink the acid flask? <laughs> totally did not mean to use that. I meant to uh, do the takeoff option, but um, apparently Fabrosi misunderstood and decided to uh, chug the potion of acid instead. Nice. So now that we're high on acid, I guess we can, um, maybe have a good trip? Sure, can we go fishing? 
You know what? Maybe we'll, we will go tussle with that giant frog. I may come to bitterly regret this, but hopefully not. Uh, let's see. May I see your entrails, yeah, please? those things are a little concerning, but only four damage so far, so... Okay, you know what? They're not that bad. Tell me that I can skin them, because there's nothing I want more than uh, giant frog skins, and we cannot. Unbelievable. Wow. wow. You're also running out of potions? Fuck. Um... Not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned about our prospects here. What with us running out of um potion so eagerly. This uh, ooh. Your attention. Nice. What is this? Potion of sealed faith? Hematite? Incense? Gold coins? Green green quartz? Sorry, not green quartz. Queen quartz. I found some green quartz. Oh, it's so good. Oh shit. These guys chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool. Hey guys. An oversized mite approaches you. He raises his bald blue head with dignity, and his neck is decorated with tag locks and a wolf's fang pendant. To his right walks a kobold, also swelling with conceit. Welcome, Peace Zone. Here, no war. No one attack. Only maybe Fat Wolf Lord. He want chew us. We more sly. Who kill him? Big reward. Ward! Um, neutral evil. No. What did you say about wolves? Near Long Tree live Pack Wolf, big angry. Tell Might and Cobalt bad thing. We maybe kill him easy, but war take hunters away. Alright, um Are you asking me to help you? Alright, fine, I guess I'll kill the wolf leader. Um, who are you? Peaceful Might and Cobalt hunt together. Was easy. Many might, many cobalt hunt together. Now not. Not like this. And why are you not fighting each other? War, bad. War never changes. Puddles blood. Uh, scream loud. Might and Cobalt dead. Cold. Why fight? Dangerous and hairy wolf around. The Might shakes his head uh, helplessly. Wise words. I think many people, not just Mites and Cobalts, could learn something from these creatures. Like how to not how not to bathe. Bah! Cowards. After a short pause, the Might pats his neighbor on the on the back. But we no fool. Go and be friend. We no want war. But Miss Queen Bada, big beauty. Miss Beauty? The kobold scratches his head, baffled. Uh, I'm gonna go. I don't think there's any need for us to uh, fight these guys. Especially since they just gave me a quest to, um... Oh, I see. They're, they meant wargs. Gotcha. I thought they were just talking about, like, a big wolf. Which I guess a warg kind of is. Depending on the, um, I guess, story. Or the universe, Done rather. Waiting. Uh, yeah, so am I. So am I. So let's go ahead and drink up, and we'll equip some more of these. And we are running out, unfortunately. Mm. Is there a reason why this giant frog is of a different color? And also, we maybe we might want to use our skills more. That being said, I don't have a lot of skills to use, so not sure what exactly I can do in this situation. All right, good job, guys. Maybe I should try resting. Because I don't think I've hunkered down for a uh, good rest yet. Forwards. No. Backwards. Backwards. I mean, besides that, um, what's his face's thing? Mobility. Wait, where does that lead? I don't know if I want to do that right now because I have no idea where the fuck that goes. But I'll take this. Bone necklace. I'm assuming that's just uh, junk that we can sell. Uh, let's see where this actually leads before we head up there, just in case. Hello, dead body. How do you do, sir? Gold coins. A crumpled letter. Whoa, what is this? <gasps> Interesting. Scorched fragment of a necklace. Restavic Ranger's Broken Arrow. Uh, leather armor, which I don't think is necessary, so we'll take the crumpled letter. Uh, I don't think we need the light crossbow either. And we'll take that. Fantastic. So, what can we do with these? Now that we found both. I guess maybe we can go to an artisan and um, get it repaired. Right. All right, let's go fight the Tatzel Worm. Look at these sexy beasts. Oh my God! All right, uh, these sexy beasts are looking to uh, rip my face off and um, eat it, most likely. Uh. Holy shit! Oh, they've got venom. Oh damn. Okay, that's unfortunate. Well, thankfully, we do have a uh, potion of restoration, so maybe we'll be all right. Knock on wood. 
Good job. Better kill that bastard. Can we skin it? I don't think we can. Hmm. So right, for Brosy. So Try to need some more uh, potions here. I really, really wish that the uh, potions didn't do um, random amounts of healing. But, oh well. Them's the breaks. That's the universe that we live in. Mm, let's see. What's in wait for oh, this an elk! Kill it! We will prevail. Oh shit, we've angered the, um, the elk gods. Despicable. Fuck me. Wait, do we get any experience points from this? Because I might just be wasting our health by uh, tussling with these things needlessly. At least we can skin them. Assuming that they have any skin left. Uh, wait, what about these ones? There we go. Ah, good job, Jathel. Good job. Uh, Cobalt Sentinel. So I guess this is the Cobalt Town. Right. So where does the thing lead then? I guess we can get into the Cobalt Town or something. Um, to the old Sycamore Caves. So I guess we can uh, circumvent the uh, entrance by uh, taking that um, tree path instead. Right, Lindsay, go ahead and risk your uh, life and limb to disarm that trap, please. And there's an overgrown passage. Great. What is this? Bandits! <gasps> can we sneak up to them and kill them in their sleep? What the hell, Lindsay? What is wrong with you? There you go. Good. I was kind of worried that we might not be able to uh, get that done. All right, Fabrosi, I think, might have the best stealth. So let's have him advance and see if he can't kill these guys in their sleep. Yeah, because it seems like they are aggressive towards us, yes? Not exactly sure. Can we do a coup de grâce or is this going to be a problem? Mm, let's try that and see if it works. Uh, for Brosi. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That guy fucking exploded! That's incredible! Holy crap, that was awesome! My god. Alright, time to use a uh, stunning fist. Alright, stun their fist. Go for it, for Brosi. Atta boy. Where the fuck are you guys going? Oh, wait. Oh, Amiri's frightened. Oh, Amiri. Come on, what is this garbage? Unbelievable. Good damage there, holy crap. 11 damage. Uh, oh, Valerie's also frightened as well. Unfortunate. Right, please stop him from uh, killing Jathel. Jathel, keep doing your thing, gal. And stop missing. Right, finally, they're, uh, they regained their senses. Right, for Brosi, go ahead and drink your potion. There you go. And hopefully this bandit is not long for this world. Alright, uh... They've at least not focused... Okay, good. So the necromancer is also dead. Fantastic. Alright. Get out of here. What the fuck are you... How? What? Come on, guys. This is embarrassing. It's five on one. And Jathel's dying. Good grief. Uh, Jathel, why don't you drink your little potion of inflict wounds? Nice. And dead as a doornail. Fantastic. Uh, we'll take the chocolate, the wine, flour, ale. I don't think we need the quarterstaff and the alchemist's fire. And a couple of bracers. Ooh. Yes, I love mead. It's not what I expected when I tried it in um, real life, but uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, golden trinket. Sure. I guess we'll take all of it. And what else? It's a shame that we can't skin the humans, because that would be awesome. Mm, can we rest here? Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if maybe we should just hunker down and rest them to heal our wounds. Because we are unfortunately kind of running out of potions. Mm. Wait, do we only have... Oh no. We've run out of uh, inflict light wounds too. Shit. Okay, uh, we might need to actually head back to um, uh, Oleg's uh, trading post, unfortunately, so there might what be some doubling back wonder? here. Yeah, we should also try to avoid any unnecessary fights, I think. At least until we can um, get to a point where we can uh, just kill things really easily. Also, did I miss the trap here? 
I think there was a trap here that we... Oh, wait, no. I think Lindsay took care of it, right? Hopefully. Whoa. Look at that dead one. Holy shit. It's all glimmery and pretty step, and stuff. Step, step. Can we take one of those pretty corpses and maybe prop it up in our um, future barony as a uh, sign of, like, um, as a way to, like, flex on the enemy, etc., etc.? Make it all pretty and shit. Bedazzle it. Uh, anything over here? No secrets can escape my Perception check. Gaze. What do we find exactly? Another overgrown passage. Not sure where that leads, but you know what? I'll give that a try. Did it. Oh, good job. Holy crap. Time and distance. there's some mites here. Mite yearling. Sneaky mite. Treasure. Uh, okay, yeah, I was kind of wondering what they were saying, and um, I was like, wait. It sounds like they don't want me to be here, and I was indeed correct. Right, do not die, guys. Do not die. Good job just exploding that mite. Uh, fantastic. Another one down. Valerie's not looking so hot. I mean, she's looking hot, but she's not looking so hot, if you know what I mean. Right, I think we got all the uh, stuff that we wanted. And then I guess maybe we'll check out the overgrown um, other place, too. Okay, so I don't think anyone uses a dagger in our team, but we should give the bracers to someone. Uh, Valerie, here, we'll give you that. And do we want to give the other bracer to Amiri or Jathel? I think we'll probably give it to... Uh, let's give it to Amiri, because her uh, armor class is not so great. Yeah... I kinda... W oh wait, no, we actually... Don't we have something that can, um... That can... Yeah, the Wand of Cure Moderate Wounds. Alright, so we should definitely use this. Uh, not sure if it's going to... Hmm... Nine hit points. Not great, but, um, I'll take it. So maybe... We might want to check out the other place where we can, um... Walk in through the uh, thing there, right? Yeah, just in case. Okay, sure. Go explore this and um, we'll see what we can find. Hopefully it won't lead to a major royal rumble where we get our teeth kicked in and all that such. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. If we trick back though, it's gonna be another, I think, day or two um, to get there. Back to Oleg's thing. Okay, well. You know what, I think this time maybe we're not going to tussle with the Elk, because, um... The Megaloceros is looking quite intimidating, not going to lie. And this just leads... Oh, shit! Wolves! Interesting. Uh, how many wolves exactly? Because... I'm hoping that this isn't too much for us to handle. Knock on wood. Right, Amiri, you should have a lot of experience uh, fighting wolves, right? Why don't you go ahead and rage out, and Jathel, I guess we'll have you maybe do a bleeding touch? Yeah, we might want to use our abilities and uh, stuff a bit more. And well, one wolf just exploded. Wait, did you miss your bleeding touch? What the hell, Jathel? What the hell? Thankfully, the wolves are exploding like they're made out of um something that explodes. Fantastic. Uh, but those weren't the wargs that we were looking for. Gotcha. A lot of treasure to be had, which is good. So is that the old sycamore itself? Because that's looking pretty massive, gotta say. Oh, shit. I think that's the uh, warg. Okay. Um, I don't know why it's neutral. I'm assuming maybe... Oh, sorry, Lindsay. We completely forgot about your existence. My bad. Maybe you should um, chime in more. And uh, talk more and all that such. Okay, so... Wolves... Not too bad, thankfully, so I think we should be okay to just take these guys on. Whoa! I think Fabrosi actually just punched the wolf in the face so hard it just died of a heart attack or something. So embarrassed that they um, got killed by this guy who's just teeming with jism because he hasn't able to um been he hasn't been able to release in quite some time. All right, um, bird. Kind of down to our last few bottles here, so I guess we should try to um let's see. I think maybe we should just try to use the wand of um moderate uh, cure wounding or whatever. Yeah, that might be the way to go. 
Okay, so that, I'm assuming, is in fact the giant sycamore. So, what? The uh, narrow pass just avoided, uh, let me circumvent the, um, the long route then, I guess? Hmm, interesting. What's in wait for me there, I wonder? I don't know. Hopefully treasure. Hopefully a Whoa. big stack of um, healing potions. But no, we have to tussle with some mites instead. And thankfully they are dying quite easily, so, you know, we got that going for us, I guess. There you go, Amiri. Jethel, what are you doing? Go fight that one. Right, I guess until we can get more abilities and whatnot, maybe we don't need to worry too much about uh, what to use. Yeah. Oh shit, where are you guys going? Wait. Okay, wh oh, they disappeared. Okay, good. I, was, I thought they were um, running towards the enemy and whatnot and uh, potentially getting themselves killed. I don't know if we need to make sure that the kobolds actually survive and win. Oh shit, I did not actually need that dagger, it turns out. Fuck. Alright, that's okay. Lore nature. Uh, let me loot this thing first. Get some vegetables and the silver ring and all that stuff. Daggers, which we don't need. Your wish granted. The dead man's face is set in the mask of terror. The body is covered in burns. I see. So, what? That's it? That's all we discerned? Did we really need the lore of nature to be able to tell that? Whoa, dueling sword. I wonder if that'll be good for uh, Valerie. Right, Valerie? Would you actually be able to wield the dueling sword? Uh, where is it? Okay. I guess not. Because it's considered considered uh, exotic. Which is also the case for the Bastard Sword. So why is it that Valerie can't use this? Um, hmm. Qualities. Enhancement, finesse, wielding. Can't be equipped by this character. Interesting. Uh, not really sure what's preventing her, but... Suffice it to say, I can't use it, so there's that. Why is Lindsay the one uh, to loot this thing? Got a couple of eggs, which will of course help us in this trying time. And what is this? Not the uh, dead body, of course. Longsword, dagger. Uh, there's enough supplies to encamp once. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, um, maybe we should actually come back after we're somewhat depleted with health. Yeah, because it seems like there might be a free little campsite thing. Mm, let's see. So we're kind of doubling back, which is fine. There's a huge chunk that we're kind of missing here, so maybe we'll explore that and then perhaps camp down for the night. Or what? Don't be so judgmental, Lindsay. What the hell? These mites are just protecting themselves, no? Well, maybe. I don't know. Just punch it right in the back. It's dead. Fantastic. Kobolds, I don't know where you guys are headed, but, um, I, I guess. Sure. So where does this go? Because there's got to be a base for the mites too, right? It can't just be a base for the kobolds, I assume. Uh, can we go this way? How does one get to this location, I wonder? Um, that's a lot of walking around. What's, oh, I see. Interesting. So we kind of just completely missed this area, which is no surprise. Not gonna lie, the relative quiet does concern me. The fuck are these? <gasps> oh! Uh, are the kobolds sleeping? Can I... Oh, maybe these um, radishes are like a catnip for kobolds. Teacher! Ask teacher! Kobold flame shaman. Kobold lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by the sorry state of his scales, he is the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light, and his throat suggests a uh, struggles to form words. A patch, a celestial radish. Yik, radishes. We grew them back in our village. One day, while I was reading a book, my pa grabbed it from me and threw it into the fire. Then he made me go pick up pick radishes. It was autumn. Oh, I see. I thought you were reading a radish, and then you're... Okay, never mind. Sorry. I often read radishes, so um, it was a little confusing to me. Then he made me uh, go pick radishes. It was autumn, and the ground was wet and cold, and there were worms everywhere. Ugh, filthy roots. Okay. Mm, so we can use trickery to uh, maybe try to get some radishes. Uh, about the radish. 
The kobold, uh, uh, the oldest kobold lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. I can use my lawful good option, or la use a lawful good option. Uh, I don't need all of it, I will leave half of what I dig out for you. There are enough radishes for everyone, you mustn't forbid others from using what grows freely in the forest. I will dig out as much as I need, or we can intimidate them. I'll take what I need, and no one will stand in my way, understand? Hmm... I wonder if Intimidate is also used by... I see... Okay, so it's easier to Intimidate than it is to um, do this. So, you know what? We'll Intimidate him. Hey, it worked! Covering his face in terror, the Kobold no nods to you hastily. His brother brethren moan sorrowfully. Um, What are you doing here? Chew the radish! Secret for secret, search for secret truth! Small and big. The kobold who's the kobolds who are lying near the answer with a uh, nearby answer with a devout murmur. At least those who aren't sleeping. Why don't you join the war against the mites? Mites, silly, but suit scale also. They are more important things in life. The kobold punctuates his words with a burp, and the others hiss in approval. Like getting high, of course. All right, so. Oh wait, did I already get the uh, the thing then? Did I get the radish? Hey, we got the moon radish. Fantastic. All right, well, I think we will probably end the episode off here for now. Um, I'm still debating on whether or not I should head back to town to uh, get some more potions and whatnot, but um, we may need to decide that in our next episode. And we'll also need to figure out whether or not we should use the potion of restoration on, um, on uh, Valerie right now. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!